What's up everyone? I'm Bill. I'm with Cali Moto TV, also with Cali Track Days. We're here with my good buddy Daryl Carpenter. We're starting a new little segment and Daryl is stupid enough to let me ride his 08 Yamaha R1 that is just absolutely ridiculous. So um, Daryl, let's go through the bike. Let's talk about what you've done to the bike and then um, and then let's just come back to this but let's let's flip this around because this thing is absolutely ridiculous so back on the back of the bike what do we got so when you look at the back of the bike um uh, it's a it's a one-off kind of custom swing arm that's been blocked and braced um, we got a modified 09 hugger that goes on of course the 09 that's pretty and 14, sweet and we modified it so it fits on the 08 uh, it's got the what we consider the shark skin bodywork, um, and also if you look at the uh, uh, the uh, the axis, which is the driven um, rear sets uh, controls, and then the same thing up front. You'll find uh, on the, the clip-ons, there'll also be uh, driven, driven. clip-ons. Um, and then we wait. So what's the little what's that little thing right there? So you're looking at the what the case slide? The auto blipper. It, it is. Tell me it. It is a translogic auto blipper for the. Translogic. Uh, I haven't heard too much of that. Oh yeah. Um, so they don't really make a whole lot for the older bikes. Um, yeah. And so translogic came up with something that would work, and it actually works pretty good. Um, for the 08, uh, you actually get the the auto blip as you come off the throttle completely, um, as you start going back down through the gears um, from six back down to five, four, three. As you continue to move on. Now, I'm a big, and now let me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test this auto blipper because you guys know how I always talk about auto blippers. So here's an aftermarket. We had one on the R6. We had the flash tune. And I really, really actually liked it. So we'll see about this. But let's move to the front because I'm just, I just, whew, what, what is this? So. And, uh, and the quick connects. All right, come on, man. What do we got? This, this started out years ago. I mean, uh probably about maybe five or six years ago, uh, more, maybe a little bit further back. Uh, the bike was displayed in 2014 at Coda, along with 11 other R1s of uh, various years. And so it's it's got a uh, quick disconnect. It's got the uh, Brembo brakes with the um, 130 mil spacer. Man. And the uh, carbon fiber fender. Uh, forks have been uh, rebuilt and tuned by EDR. And all Oleans, and you can see driven Oleans on the driven, front, front and rear. Driven clip-ons. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued here because, oh, you just have a Brembo lever. All right. So I saw the Brembo lever, and I was like, wait, what's going on with the Brembo yep. on the clutch side? And then, of course, we've got Brembo on the other side. The Brembo, the full Brembo Master, which is the 19 RCS, of course. Yep, and then of course, uh, magical racing windscreen. Um, that thing that, is uh, that thing is nice. Originated from the street version, and it fits the track. Fans. Oh, look at that! I like how it kind of it's got like a square to it, huh? Yes. Very nice. Well, it's not something you can get. Same thing with the case sliders. The case sliders are from Japan. Um, so you won't find those case sliders anywhere in the U.S. Uh, fairly expensive, but other than that, uh, they work pretty good. I haven't test crashed them. Uh, not let's, let's not. Let's not. Right, and same thing in the rear. Just uh, the Brembo on the rear, um, and then the, the quick disconnect to the rear as well. Um, the bike was, of course, a different color. Uh, it was uh, blue and white. So I wanted to talk about. Friends. I want to talk about two people that I know very well. Uh, bike was built by Eric Dorn. Eric over at EDR. Eric, what's up? Um, a beautiful bike. Now um, the paintwork. Now the paintwork. Wait, that, that, the that's paintwork. Different. That's different. Now the paintwork. That's done by Shred Dog. Eddie, our so, boy Eddie. So Eddie. We know Eddie. Eddie is the one that's he's done all of the uh, paintwork and the guards. Which to, is amazing uh, because so, yeah. so this is not a carbon fiber body, right? It's no, just it's a fiberglass body. But let me real quick, let me show you guys all of the carbon fiber bits that, that is see under the light. dipped in 
Yeah, so this is, this is really oh, carbon. this is real carbon fiber. And then what happens here is uh, you have... But the front fender hydro is... Dip, real carbon. Real carbon. And then the front of the belly pan is a uh, hydro dip. Hydro dip down that there. So Eddie just does an amazing job. I would, as you guys know, I talk about Eddie a lot. Sriracha bike. Ah, oh, man. All right. So let's get down to this real quick. So. All right. So if I eat shit today... How much do I have to buy your bike for? Oh man, it's probably gonna be about a good 30 grand overall. $30,000 $30, bike. Um, now this is the third time you've built this bike, right? It's third time, so, so uh, this, this bill here was a little bit less, um, but still. Uh, we went but with you used a lot of the aftermarket, you used this, a lot of the stuff that you had already had, yes, right? Yes. So you had already had a lot of these bits, you really just, what did we do on this last time? Body, motor? Um, well, the motor was already tuned too, so okay. uh, aside from having Eric work on some of the other stuff that was that was already done. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, and then we still got to get it back <laughs> so it can do some more stuff um, to it because we still got to do wheels. Um, uh, what are we doing to the wheels? So right now, these are stock wheels. These are stock wheels currently right now, and then uh, we get, get the uh, the core zero wheels uh, re iodized to a different color. I'm starting to get nervous. He's going to let me ride this thing. So we're at lunch. Yep. I'm going to take this thing for a spin on track. We are closed course right now. Absolutely no one else. It's just going to be me and this beautiful bike out on track. Ah. It is 170 yards to the rear wheel. So, so Eric All right. always says you can't so, ride this thing more than 160 so horsepower. So me, me, me and Daryl are friends. I hope we continue to be friends. <laughs> I have thirty thousand, but uh, let's get on the track, man. Let's let me see. Let me see what. Let me see what I think about this bike. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's do it, man. So this is the first. Now I haven't ridden. I I always love this 08 when when this 08 came out. Adjuster, so it is too stiff. No, I'm cool. I love the stiff up there. All right. I'm going to take it easy. Uh, you, will you pull me off the rear? And what tires are we running? The These are the Pirellis. Street tires? Yeah, street tires. The DOTs. All right. So we're neutral. This thing is just, this thing is such a beast. Such a beast. So I just say have fun. Have fun, man. All right, well, let's get out here. Nothing else I need to know. So one is up, and everything else is down. That's it, man. We've got our gear shifter. And you'll hear it blip. Boom, boom, boom. And then you can just do whatever you got. And that's it. You know how to ride. Man, he's got me scared. He's got me scared. But let's go ahead and... Off we go. Oh, wait. Yamaha. Man, that's got some power. So he told me the throttle's a little bit quick. Now, the Jixxer, Jixxer 1000 throttle's quick. Take it easy, take it easy. I'm not trying to break no records out here today. those brakes whoa those brakes wow those brakes are that that just shocked me I thought I got the brakes on the Jixxer dialed in but damn damn dude all right down the back straight we go we got heat in our tires I like this auto blip. 
I'm gonna have to talk to him about this on the Jixer. He said this is a for older, older bikes. Straight through the S's. And this auto blip is pretty damn sweet. Alright, down the straight. Get the bike picked up. There we go. fun already <laughs> should have got a downshift on that one so the brakes on the initial feel are kind of like the BM uh, uh, kind of like the Jixer they kind of jiggle a little bit up on the beginning and then once they grab they grab like hell Whew. all right let's see what we got down the back straight. Up we go. Oh yeah. Suspension's bucking me a little bit in the back. Probably, uh, probably because he has proper suspension. I'm not used to that. <laughs> you get a little shake and then in and then they grab I don't like it as much but I think we could probably get that adjusted but let's see should have probably been third third in that one all right let's go down one more lap the position of his shifter I keep going underneath it. Yeah, this thing is fast. Yeah, this thing is fast. Eric, you did a great job, man. Eric with EDR. Yeah, we're in the better position. See, I um, downshifted into second that time all the way through there. I might take another lap on this thing. What do you guys think? Are you enjoying the ride? Yeah, so my toe, I gotta, when I get off, I'll take a look. But my toe, I'm grabbing something when I go to downshift and lift it up. for letting us do this ride. I think that's going to be it, guys. <sighs> I just did three sessions prior to this. We're at lunch right now, so... I'm going to go get a little lunch in me. But, man... I don't know. What do you think? One more lap? Let's do one more. Uh, twist my arm, guys. All right, let's do one more lap. So the nice thing about owning a track day organization, especially here at Button Willow, Break too early for that corner. I know, I know. All right. One of the thing that's nice is here at Button Willow, we're going to be able to do some of these videos for you 
you guys. Solo on track. If you guys enjoyed this video of the free track test ride, shoot a comment down below. Now, let's open this up. Back down the back straight. Let's see. That jigs are really pretty good. A day this might have been one of the best track days cali track days i'm having a ball mike abbott thank you for taking over operations for me it's been a great honor to have be able to have this time with you guys at cali moto tv now let's get back to this bike and what we want to do with this channel on these customer rides so this will be called customer test rides and we're gonna be doing these out at Button Willow. So if you're interested in letting me ride your custom bike, hit the link down below, shoot us an email, send us some pictures of your bike, submit it. And what we're gonna be doing here at Cali Track Days is we're gonna be reviewing one customer bike per track day. If you'll let me take it out here crazy enough to ride your $30,000 custom bike and what you'll get you're going to get a free track day out of this all the details will be below if you're interested <laughs> if you're interested let me know but Jesus Christ this bike is a monster absolute monster I just said, whew, absolute monster, absolutely amazing. Thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you. This, I, I did a little something for the tires for you so people don't laugh anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Man, great. So one of the things that I was having a problem with is this is where my boot was getting caught up as I go to shift. Where was I? What was I catching on? No, because it would be the upshift. I was catching on something and I couldn't I couldn't get the upshift down. What size shoe are you wearing? Yeah, but I don't know. But anyways, 12. Yeah, I don't know. So, shifting is absolutely amazing. This bike, man, I can't believe you let me borrow it. <laughs> I, know you, I know you can ride. <laughs> you know, I did, it's all right, you know. I'm still learning. I'm still learning. But thanks, Daryl. Cali Track Days, if you guys haven't been out here, make sure you uh, hit us up on our CaliTrackDays.com and uh, CaliMoto TV. Remember, if you guys want to be crazy enough to let me borrow your $30,000 bike, shoot a comment down below, but mainly send us an email, CaliMotoTV at gmail.com. Submit your ride if you get picked. You'll get a free track day out here and we'll ride your, your bike at lunch. So hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, shoot me a comment. Thanks everyone, we'll see you next video.